What's up YouTube? This is James. I'm going to be doing a little video today on throwing some pots. Alright, so first, okay, first thing you want to do is take your ball of clay, plop it down right in the center of the uh, wheel as good as you can. And you can see that it's off a little bit, but not too bad. So I'm going to kind of pat it into uh, submission here. So before I even added any water, you can see it's pretty well centered. Now I'm going to add a little bit of water and I throw standing up and I'm going to kind of lock my uh, elbow into my hip and then I'm going to push this, this direction uh, with this hand and then I'm going to push down with my top hand. So you can see the wheels running counterclockwise. I'm kind of going slow because I want you to be able to kind of see what my hands are doing here. Okay, so that's pretty good. If you want, you can uh, take a rib of some sort or even a stick and uh, kind of run it along the edge and clean that up. It's not necessary, but if you had kind of a an extra lump of clay along the bottom or something, you know, go ahead and clean that up so that your hand's not riding up and down on a lump of clay. All right, now what we're going to do is open the cylinder. So I'm going to take my thumb and I'm going to let it ride there for a second so it kind of uh, perfectly establishes the center point, which you can see there. So it's, and then I'm going to take this hand. I'm just going to push down on my thumb while this hand here is kind of guiding on the outside. So that kind of begins the opening. Make sure you don't leave a lot of water in there. You don't want to have a big pool in there. Now I'm going to take kind of these fingers and they're going to go down in there with this hand on top and push down until I'm about a half inch off the bottom. All right. Now a way that you can check is take a pin tool, uh, stab it through the bottom run your nail down till you touch the uh, top of the clay pull it up and you can see the base. So I'm a little more than a half inch there maybe almost even three quarters so I'll go ahead and take off a little bit more I'm just again starting from the center and working my way out alright so now I've got that now I'm gonna what's called annular centering because you can see that it's a little bit wobbly so now I'm going to grab the clay like this, like this, and with this hand on top, it's going to come in from the top, and I'm going to annular center this. So now it's pretty close to being perfect. Now I'm going to compress the center, put a little bit of water in there, start from the outside of your hole and move into the center. And so you're going to compress that clay, get all the clay particles lined up with each other. Real nice. Uh, clay particles are flat. Uh, they're not round like sand and so you want to kind of stack up those particles and it'll help you keep from uh, getting cracks. Continuing on here, so I'm going to, uh, I'm going to grab it like this with these fingers and I'm gonna hold it up here like this so here we go this is the first pull on the cylinder so real gently squeezing and pushing down while I'm squeezing to control the top rim so that's about a half inch thick there on the top okay not looking too bad and we'll probably make one more pull just for the fun of it.
You could maybe hear the motor that I was slowing down as I was getting toward the top. That's your basic cylinder. Uh, I could go in again and you know maybe uh, square it up a little bit. Now I'm not really pulling, I'm just kind of evening even evening it out. So there you go, a cylinder. You can maybe... Yes, that's my cell phone. Hey Gavin, can you shut that door, bud? What? Can you shut the door, please? This door? Yep, thank you. I see you